Hi, and welcome to the Balanced Body Rehabilitation Podcast. My name is Chrissy Romani Ruby, and today we're filming from PHI Pilates Studio in Pittsburgh. I have Zach with me today, and we're going to show you spinal stenosis exercises. So, for someone with a central canal spinal stenosis, we want to provide flexion to help relieve their their neurological symptoms. Now obviously Zach is a little young for spinal stenosis, but he's going to demonstrate our exercises today. So we're going to start with an exercise that bends him forward from the side. So Zach's going to stand with his side to the chair. He'll bring his arms up, so you can go ahead and bring your arms up, and he's going to roll down from the wall trying to round his lower back. So nodding your chin, you're going to round the low back and bring his hand to the pedal. So he'll use the pedal for support. We're going to reach the other arm up and away, and now he'll start to press the pedal down. So he's going to inhale, press the pedal down. You want to lengthen the back of the neck, and then exhale, come up a little bit. Now this back arm is reaching back, and that's providing a slight rotation in the thoracic vertebrae. So we're actually going to open them a little bit more on one side. So you may find that some of your clients will enjoy one side more than the other, depending on what kind of degeneration is happening in their spine. Nice job. Now to progress, we're going to take Zach down a little further, and we're going to encourage him to reach his sitting bones toward his heels, and now we're going to pump the pedal with one arm. So he bends the elbow, and then he presses back down. Each time he presses the pedal, he tries to draw his navel into his spine a little more. Good job. He rounded a little bit more there. We want to watch that the shoulder blade doesn't do the movement and that the elbow truly does the movement. Then go ahead and press that pedal down. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, start to let the pedal help you come up. You want to use your buttocks and keep your back rounded as you're rolling all the way up. Very good. Now the tension for this exercise should be pretty heavy. So position three with a black or four so that the person can really lean and rely on the pedal. We're counting on that ability to lean on the pedal to help them round their lumbar spine. And that's the main goal of the exercise. So make it as heavy as you need to depending on the size of the client. Now we would repeat this on the other side. And as I said before, you may find that some of your clients get a lot of relief doing one side and that the other side maybe doesn't help so much. So it wouldn't be a bad thing to do more on the one side that's providing the relief. Thanks for joining us today and I hope to see you for the next podcast.